Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, make sure and do fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Ever want to feel like a princess or a fairy? Well, I did, so I made this majestic wonder. It's been a long time since we've done ruffles on the channel, so it's fun to get back into it. It's a fun flourish I look forward to flaunting in the future. And if you want something you can flaunt in the future, or alliteration, you've come to the right place. We've got hundreds of designs and many more to come, so get subscribed and stay tuned. Now this fairy's gotta go make some magic, so without further ado. For this project, any category for yarn will work, but I used a total of 475 grams of yarn. That's 900 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5.5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any 999 plus order. And watch the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. I'm using four stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet. And double crochet. This tutorial is for size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 5.5mm hook and start off by making a chain that reaches from our underarm down to where we want the bottom of our top to be. I want mine to be about 13 inches or 35 centimeters. So I'm going to start by making a chain of 50. Now that we have our chain, we are going to block off that last chain. Do a chain 2, that counts as our turning chain. We're going to yarn over and into that chain that we blocked off. For the third chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a half double crochet. So insert, yarn over, pull through that chain. Should have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through three. Let's do one more. Yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet. Into that next chain, pull through. Yarn over, pull through three. Continue to put one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one so that we can increase together. Now that we've put one half double crochet into every chain, into that last one, we're going to do an increase. So yarn over, insert with one. And into that same last chain, yarn over, insert with our second half double crochet. That's how we do our increase. Now our next row is going to be a row of back loop slip stitches. So chain one, flip our work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So just to do that together, make sure that we're not inserting our hook in through both loops. Only like going in through that back loop or the loop that's farthest away from us. And yarn over, pull through everything. Let's do the next one. Into that next back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything on our hook. Continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. I'll meet you back at the end of this row. We're at the end of our row number two, and now we're going to start with our back loop half double crochet rows. So just like before, we're going to chain two. That's our turning chain. We're going to flip our work and we're still going to do a half double crochet into every stitch while maintaining an increase into the end, but these are now going to be in through the back loop so we can get a rib. So let's do the first one. Yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch's back loop, pull through, pull through three. Let's do one more together. Yarn over, insert into that next back loop, pull through, pull through three. Put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch while maintaining the increase of two back loop half double crochets into that last stitch. When you reach the end of this row, do a chain one, flip your work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And we're going to keep repeating these two rows of back loop slip stitches and back loop half double crochets with an increase until this reaches the corner of our underarm. And I'll meet you guys back right after a slip stitch row. Alright, so I am back with my underarm portion. I have a total of four rows, and this is only about an inch or three centimeters. 
from here, we're going to have to continue our underarm portion, but we just want this to curve up a little bit more naturally before we get started on the shoulder. So since we all should have ended along the bottom right after a slip stitch row, we're now going to do another row of back loop half double crochets, and I'll meet you back at the last one so that we can do an increase of three. All right, now that we have put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, into that last one, like I said in the previous clip, we're going to do an increase of three. So yarn over into that last back loop. If I can find it, we're going to insert with one into that same last back loop. There's two. Then once more, there is three. Now I want all of this to curve up a little bit more, so we're going to increase for our slip stitch row as well. So to do that, we're going to chain two. The first chain that we made is going to count as our first stitch. The second chain, or the chain that's nearest to our hook, is going to count as our turning chain. So now that we have our chain two, we're going to flip our work. We're going to skip the chain that's closest to our hook, and then insert our hook into the second chain. Insert into that back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. That's our first stitch for this increased slip stitch row. And then from here, put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Now I reach the end of this row, do a chain two, flip your work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch while maintaining the increase of three into that last stitch. And then increase with your back loop slip stitch row as well. And keep doing those two rows back and forth until this reaches the front of your body and make sure that we're stretching this as if we're wearing it. I'll meet you guys back right after a half double crochet row which is along the top so that we can make a chain for our shoulder after that. All right, so I have just finished the extra curve up underarm portion, and I now have a total of seven rows, and this is just about two inches or five centimeters in width. From here, since we should have ended along the top, we're now gonna make a chain that reaches up to the middle of our shoulder. So I have already measured mine out, and I'm going to make a chain of 18, and that's five inches or 13 centimeters. And now that we have our chain, we're going to continue with our stitch sequence. So since our last row was a half double crochet row, we're now gonna do a slip stitch row. So block off that last chain, do a chain one. Into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert, yarn over, and pull through everything with a slip stitch. Let's do one more. Into that next chain, yarn over, pull through everything. Continue to put one chain into every, continue to put one slip stitch into every chain, and I'll meet you back once we reach the push, and I'll meet you back once we reach the body portion. All right, we have put one slip stitch into every chain, and now that we have reached the body portion, we're going to continue with putting one slip stitch into every stitch, but now we're going to work into the back loops. So if you guys need to, Turn your work just a little bit, insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through everything, and continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When you reach the end of this row, do a chain two, flip your work, then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And this is going to be the shoulder portion. So we're going to keep repeating these two rows with no increases and no decreases until this reaches the base of our neck, making sure that we end on a slip stitch row. I'll meet you guys back when mine's all finished up. Okay, my shoulder portion is now all done. And now the total width that I have is three and a half inches or eight centimeters. And I have a total of 14 rows. We should have all ended on our slip stitch row. And now we're going to insert our stitch marker where we want our next loop to start. So if you guys want to go on with my numbers, I have inserted my stitch marker into the 24th stitch from the top. And this is six inches or 15 centimeters down. So what I'm gonna do from here is do a chain two, flip my work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch till we are one stitch right before our stitch mark. I'll meet you guys back. All right, so I've made my way all the way up with my back loop half double crochet row, and I am one stitch right before our stitch marker. From here, we're gonna chain one flip our work, and then do rows of back loop slip stitches. And we're just gonna alternate between a back loop half double and back loop slip stitch row with no increases 
and no decreases until this reaches across your chest or the other side of the base of your neck so that we can do the shoulder portion. I'll meet you guys back right after a half double crochet row. And I'll let you guys know what my measurements are in the next clip. Alright, so I have just finished my next scoop and I now have a total of 25 rows. My width is now 6 inches or 15 centimeters. And now we're going to do the same shoulder portion that we have on this side. We're going to start off by making a chain the same amount of stitches that we skipped on this side. So if you guys have my numbers, I inserted my stitch marker into the 24th stitch from the top. So over here, we're going to start with a chain of 24. And now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain to a chain of one. And since our previous row was a half double crochet row, we're now going to do a slip stitch row. So into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a slip stitch. And just like before, put one slip stitch into every chain. And then once we reach the body portion, continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. At the end of the row, do a chain two, flip your work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And keep repeating those two rows with no increases or decreases until we have the same amount of shoulder rows as this other side. And then I'll meet you guys back. All right, my shoulder portion's done, and now we're going to get started on the underarm portion. We're going to start with a section where we did an increase into every row, but now, since we're on the other side, we're going to do a decrease into every row. We are first going to need to insert our stitch marker into the same amount of chains that we made over here for our shoulder portion. So if you guys have my numbers, I made a chain of 18. On this side, I counted down 18 stitches, inserted my stitch marker, and since we all should have ended right after a slip stitch row, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we are three stitches right before our stitch marker. We've made our way all the way up, putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and we have left one, two, three stitches right before our stitch marker. Now we're going to do a decrease of three back loop half double crochets. Start with the yarn over, insert your hook into that third to last back loop, pull through into that second to last back loop. Pull through, should have four loops on our hook, and then also into that last back loop, yarn over, pull through. Should have five loops on our hook now, so we're going to yarn over and pull through all five of those loops. And we did a decrease of three because we did an increase of three on this side, and on this side we also did an increase into the slip stitch row, so let's do a decrease into the slip stitch row together. Do a chain one, flip your work. Insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through into that next back loop we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook so yarn over pull through all three that's how we do our decrease of two back loop slip stitches we reach the end of this row to a chain two flip your work and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we have three stitches left do a decrease of three back loop half double crochets and then alternate between those two rows for the same amount of rows that we have on this side. Since I only have three, I'll meet you guys back right after my next half double crochet row so that we can close off our underarm portion together. My curved underarm portion is all finished and now we're going to finish up with this other underarm portion that we started off with. So since we all should have ended right after a half double crochet row, we're going to do a slip stitch row with no increases, no decreases, do a chain two, flip your work, and then bring your half double crochets all the way up until there are two stitches left we'll do a decrease of two together and then let you guys move on from there all right so i've just finished my slip stitch row and my back loop half double crochet row we have left our two stitches and we're just going to do a decrease of two together so we're going to yarn over insert your hook into that second to last back loop yarn over pull through into that last back loop Yarn over, pull through. Should have four loops on our hook, so we're going to yarn over, pull through all four. From here, do a chain one, flip your work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And then do your back loop half double crochet row after that with a decrease of two into the last two stitches. We're going to keep repeating those two rows until we have the same amount of rows as the underarm portion that we started off with. Do a chain up one cut when we have that many rows, and I'll meet you guys back. Okay, I have just finished my underarm portion. I have the same amount of rows as this side. I did a chain up and one and cut, and now we're going to get started on the back. So for the back panel, it's actually going to start off the same way that we did the front. 
So make the same amount of chains and same amount of rows from our underarm all the way over to where we did an increase into every row. And then I'll meet you guys back when we have this portion finished off so I can talk you guys how to do with the solid back portion. All right, the underarm portion for my back panel is all finished. From here, we're going to make the same amount of chains that we did for our shoulder. And then we're going to repeat rows of back loop half double and back loop slip stitches with no increases and no decreases, making our way all the way across to this last shoulder row that we have right here. Making sure that we have the same amount of rows, I'll meet you guys back so that I can talk you guys through how to do the underarm portion on the other side. I've just made my way across with the entirety of my back panel, and now we're going to do our underarm. This underarm portion is going to be done exactly the same way that we did the front panel, so I'm just going to talk you guys through it. So we're first going to start off by inserting our stitch marker into the same amount of chains that we made for our shoulder portion, which is the same as the front panel. For me, I inserted my stitch marker into the 18th stitch. I'm going to start with my row back loop half double crochets. Do a decrease of three into the three stitches right before my stitch marker. Decrease into my slip stitch row and continue on with those two rows until we have the same amount of rows as our front panel. And then we're going to do a decrease of two only into the half double crochet rows to close off the rest of the underarm exactly the same way as the front. So go ahead and get that finished. Do a chain up one and cut and meet you guys back. The entirety of our back panel is finished, and now we are going to seam the back to the front panel. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that the ribbing for our back panel is face down because we want it to be on the outside. And then taking the front panel, make sure that the ribbing for the front is faced up towards us, so it's flipped right side out. We're going to insert our hook into the corner stitch of the front panel and into the corner stitch of the back panel. Insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. And from here, we're going to do an outside loop slip stitch seam. So let's get that started. We're going to start by inserting our hook into that first available stitches front loop, or the loop that's nearest to us, into the front panel, and then into the back panel. Find that next available stitch, and then insert your hook only into that back loop, or the loop that's furthest from us. You should have a total of three loops on our hook now, so we're going to yarn over. Pull through all three of those loops. Let's do one more. Insert your hook into that next available stitches front loop into the front panel, and then into that next available stitches back loop into the back panel. Yarn over and pull through everything. We're going to continue to do this, making our way all the way up. When we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of one and cut. Now that our side is seamed, we're now going to seam our shoulder. So the first thing we're going to do is now flip our work wrong side out so that our rib is faced each other because we want the shoulder seam to be along the inside. We're going to start by inserting the hook into the corner stitch of both panels. Insert our yarn onto our hook. Pull through, do a chain of one to secure. And now we're going to put one single crochet into every side slip and half double crochet row that we have. So we're going to start by inserting our hook into our side half double crochet row into the front panel. And then also into that same first side half double crochet row into the back panel. And then we're going to single crochet. Next we have our side slip stitch row. So we're going to find that top loop into the front panel and find that same top loop into the back panel and then single crochet. Continue to put one single crochet into every side row that we have when we don't have any more stitches left. Do a chain up of one and cut and then do the same thing that we did here on the other side. All right, now that we have seamed everything up, we're ready to get started on our sleeve. So first, making sure that our work slips right side out, we're going to insert our hook into the last stitch into our side seam. Insert my yarn onto my hook. Pull through. I'm going to do a chain up of one to secure. Now for this first row, I'm going to make sure that I'm working clockwise. But I'm going to start by putting one seam crochet into every side row that I have, working my way up the underarm portion that we made. So to get started, my first under row is this hanging 
is this half double crochet row. So I'm going to find that side loop, insert my hook, and then I'm going to single crochet. My next side row is a side slip stitch. We're going to find that top loop, insert my hook, and single crochet. And continue to do that, make my way all the way up. We're going to reach our shoulder portion, put one single crochet into every stitch, going up and over. Continue to put one single crochet into every side row, making our way all the way down, and then slip stitch into that chain one space that we made when we started this row off. I'll meet you guys back when we have this row all finished up. Our first row of single crochets is all finished up, and now we're going to do a row of single crochet and half double crochet because we need this to curve over our shoulder. So we're going to start off by not flipping our work. Our row number two is still going to be work clockwise. After our slip stitch, we're going to chain one. And we're going to start by putting one single crochet into the same amount of side rows that we have. So if you guys have my numbers, I have seven side rows. So I'm going to start with seven single crochets. So I'm going to insert with one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. My seven single crochets is all done. And from here, we're going to put one half double crochet into every stitch, going all the way up and over. I'm going to leave seven stitches because I have seven underarm rows. I'm going to close it off by doing seven single crochets, slip stitch, into that chain one space, and I'll meet you guys back. Now that our single and half double crochet row is all finished up, we have slip stitch into that chain one space. And to start our row three, we're going to chain one, and now we're going to flip our work. So for this next row and every other slip stitch row after this, we're going to be working counterclockwise. So go ahead and flip your work, and just like for our body, put one back slip stitch into every stitch. No increases, no decreases. So insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Keep doing this, make your way all the way down. Alright, now we should have one, two, three rows finished up. And now to get started on our fourth row, that is our decrease row. So let's get that started. We slip stitch into that chain one space. Do a chain up of one, flip your work, and now we're going to put one back loop single crochet for the same amount of side rows that we have. So from my previous row, I did seven single crochets, and now I'm going to start with seven back loop single crochets. So inserting the hook into that first back loop, insert with one, two, three. I'll meet you guys back when I have my seven done. Alright, my seven back loop single crochets are all finished, and now we're going to do a decrease of two back loop single crochets. So start by inserting your hook into that next back loop, pull through. Insert your hook into that next back loop, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook. From here, we're going to yarn over, pull through all three. And from here, we're going to put one back loop, half double crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way around. We are going to leave the same amount of stitches as single crochets made, so same underarm rows. So I'm going to leave seven plus two stitches for the decrease. So I'll meet you guys back when I have nine stitches left so that I can show you guys how to close off our row. Alright, so I have double crocheted my way all the way around. I have nine. I have my nine stitches left. So I'm going to start with a decrease and then single crochet. So into my next stitch, insert into my back loop, pull through, next back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, and then close this off by putting one back loop single crochet into the rest of the stitches. Slip stitch into that chain one space, and then from here we're going to repeat our two previous rows. So from here, do a chain one, flip your work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. No increases, no decreases. Slip stitch into that chain one space. Flip your work and then repeat our previous row. So one single crochet 
and do every stitch for the same amount of underarm rows. Decrease the two back loops single crochets and half double crochet making our way all the way around, closing off with a decrease and then our single crochets. We're going to keep repeating those two rows until this becomes nice and snug around the arm. Then I'll meet you guys back right after a slip stitch row so that we can extend our sleeve. Okay, so we are back and I have just finished up cinching my sleeve so that it gets nice and smooth on the arm. I have a total of 17 rows and now we're going to need to do some rows so that I can become even on a arm when we wear it. So all we're going to do from here, since we ended on a slip stitch row, we're going to do the same amount of back loop single crochets as underarms that we have. I'm going to do the same amount of single crochets as underarm rows that we have, so still my seven back loop single crochets and then put one half double crochet into every back loop. So basically the same as these rows, but without doing the decrease in between the singles and half double crochets. So let's just get the first row started. I slip stitched in that chain one space, did a chain up one, and I'm going to start with my seven back loop single crochets. Now that I have my back loop single crochets, I'm going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch making my way all the way around, making sure to close off this row with the same amount of single crochets as we made on this side, slip stitch into the chain one space, flip your work, and then one back loop slip stitch into every stitch again. Repeat those two rows until this becomes horizontal on our arm when we wear it, and I'll meet you guys back so that you can work on the length. I'll meet you back after a slip stitch row. Alright, so I'm back and I've just finished my evening out rows and I now have a total of 25 rows. From here we're going to work on the sleeve length. You should have all ended on a slip stitch row. So the only difference now is we're going to do a chain two, flip our work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. Slip stitch into the second chain we made, chain one, flip our work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So we're just alternating between a back loop half double and back loop slip stitch row with no increases and no decreases all the way down until we meet around our elbow right after a slip stitch row. That's going to be right where I need to start doing some decreases before we go in with our belt. So if you guys need a decrease, I'll meet you guys back in the next clip just so I can show you guys how to do it. Alright, so I have gone in with the length of my sleeve. I'm just about where my elbow is. And right before we start our belt, I want this to taper in really quickly because I want to have really slick sleeve. So, just to let you guys know, I have a total of 39 rows, and I'm going to show you guys how to do a decrease, and I'll let you guys choose where you decrease from there until we're ready to do our bell sleeve. We should have all ended on a slip stitch row, and all we're going to do is start and end with a decrease of two back loop half double crochet, so I'm just going to do one with you guys. From here, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through, next back loop, pull through, Yarn over, pull through all four. Put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch while decreasing into the last two stitches. Slip stitch into that second chain that we made. Do a back loop slip stitch row with no increases and decreases and then repeat. Keep doing that until we are ready to get started with our bell sleeve, which for me it's going to be about an inch underneath my elbow. I'll meet you guys back after a slip stitch row. So I have just finished my decrease portion of my sleeve and now I can get started with the bell. Just to let you guys know, I have a total of 45 rows now and to get started on our 46, we're going to start with a chain 2 because we should have all ended on a slip stitch row. And we're all going to start by doing 5 back loop half double crochet. Now that we all have our 5 back loop half doubles, we're going to do an increase into the 6. So yarn over, put one back loop half double, and then two back loop half doubles into that sixth stitch. And from here, we're going to repeat the sequence. Five back loop half double, increase of two back loop half doubles into the sixth. We're maintain that, making our way all the way around. Slip stitch into that second chain, do a chain one, flip your work, and one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. No increases, no decreases. I'll meet you guys back when we're about to start our next increase row. Alright, so our first increase row for our bell is all finished, and we just finished the slip stitch row right after that. 
From here, we're going to do another row that is exactly like our previous increase row. So do a chain two, and then put five back loop half double crochets and increase into the six. There's my five, and then increase. Just like the previous increase row, maintain this, making our way all the way around. Do a slip stitch row right after that with no increases and no decreases. Now our next increase row is going to be bumped up to the next odd number. So as an example, these two rows were five back loop half double crochets and then an increase. The next increase row is going to be seven back loop half double crochets and then an increase. And they are worked in sets of two. So we have five half double crochet. We just did five half double crochet. The next row is going to be seven. The next row is going to be seven. And then we're going to keep increasing just like that until this reaches about mid under arm. So I'll meet you guys back right after a slip stitch row so that we can get started on our detail. Okay, so I am back. I have a little bit of my bell sleeve done. I have a total of 61 rows and now we're going to start working on our detail. So making sure that we end it on a slip stitch row, we're going to start by doing a chain up of three. And from here, we're going to put one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So there's my first double crochet. Into the next, insert, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Now there's two double crochets right next to each other. Chain one, skip one stitch, and put one double crochet into each of the next two stitches as well. So remember to skip one. There's one double crochet. And then there's two double crochet. Let's do one more set. Chain one, yarn over, skip one stitch, double crochet into the next, and then also into the next. Chain one and repeat. I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. Okay, our first detail row is done, and now we're ready to get started on our shells. We slip stitch into that third chain that we made when we started off this row. And now we're going to do another chain up of three. And from here, into every chain space, we're going to put a shell. And a shell is two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So start with the yarn over, into that first chain one space, insert with one, two double crochets, chain two, and into that same chain space, two double crochets. So there's one, there's two. Let's do the next one, but a little bit faster. Into that next chain space, one double crochet, two double crochet, chain two, and then one, two double crochet. We're going to keep doing our shells into the chain one space, making our way all the way around. Slip stitch into that third chain that we made when we started this off. Meet you guys back. All right, we're row number two for our details all done. Now, to get started on our next row, we have slip stitched into the third chain. We're going to do another chain three, and then into the middle of each of our shells, we're going to do another shell. So, into this chain two space, we insert with one, there we go. Two double crochets, chain two, and then another set of two double crochets into that same space. So we now have a shell inside of another shell, and in between our shells, we're just going to put one double crochet. So yarn over, then into the space in between our two shells, insert your hook with one double crochet. And that's it. Let's do one more set. So into the middle of the next shell, there is two, there we go, double crochets, chain two, another set of two double crochets. So now you have a shell and a shell, and then in between this shell and the next shell, one double crochet. And then that's it for this row. Keep doing this all the way down, slip stitch into that third chain space. All right, row number three is done. Let's get started on row number four for our shell detail. We already slip stitched, so do a chain three. 
we're still gonna put a shell on a shell. So let's do that first one together. So into that chain two space. You have two doubles, chain two, and then another set of two doubles. Now we have the space in between the shell and the double crochet. We're gonna put just one double crochet into there. We're going to chain one and then put one double crochet into that space in between this double crochet and the shell. So that's what it should look like. And then we're going to do another shell. So into that next chain two space, two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. So just as a recap, we have our shell, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, shell. Continue to do this all the way around to the end of this row. So we are back and we now have one, two, three, four shell detail rows for our bell sleeve, and we're going to repeat rows two, three, and four. So I'm just going to talk you guys through it really quickly, get the next row started with you guys, and let you guys go from there. So the first row is just a row of all shells. Row number three is a row of shells, a double crochet in between the two shells, and then a shell. And then the next row is a shell, one double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then shell. I'm just going to get started on the next row with you guys, and I'll let you guys go until you guys decide to stop. So we're going to start with a chain three, and then into that first shell space, or the chain two space, we're going to do our first shell. So two double crochets, chain two two double crochets, and then we're going to do our next shell into this chain one space. So in between the two double crochets that we made, yarn over into that chain one space, there is two doubles, chain two, two double crochets just like that, and then our next shell is going to be inside of the next shell space. So chain, so two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet and the next shell is going to be in this chain space in between the double crochets we are going to keep repeating those rows until we get the complete length of the sleeve that we want then i will do a chain up a woman cut and meet you guys back so that you guys know how many rows i end up having so i am all done with my ruffles and i now have a total of 69 rows and now we're going to get started on the neck detail. So getting started on our neck detail, we're first going to make our way all the way around with a single crochet row. So I'm going to start by inserting my hook into the corner stitch right in between my neck portion and my back panel just so I have a clean seam. Insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, do a chain of a one. I'm going to be working into the back first and all I'm going to do is put two single crochets into every side double is put two single crochets into every side half double and one single crochet into every side slip stitch row. So let's get the first one started. My first row right here is a side slip stitch row, so I'm going to find that top loop and single crochet. My next side row is this side half double, so I'm going to insert my hook into there with one and two single crochet. Let's do one more set into my side slip stitch row, insert with one. And then into my next side half double crochet row, insert with two. So there's one, and there's two. We're going to keep doing this all the way down. When we reach this neck portion, put one single crochet into every stitch. And then when we reach the neck hole, we're going to do the same thing. So two single crochets into every side half double, one single crochet into every side slip stitch, make our way all the way up, and slip stitch into that chain one space. Now that we have single crocheted around the entirety of our neck hole, we're now going to go in with our detail. So we're going to start with doing some fans. These are going to be half double crochet fans done in sets of six. So we're going to start with the yarn over, skip one stitch into that next stitch. I'm going to go in with one, two, three, four, five. And then six half double crochets. 
And from here, we're going to count one, two, three stitches. And then into that fourth, insert with your six half double crochets. So I have two, three, four, five, and six, and then repeat. So skip one, two, three, six half double crochets into the next stitch. And then we're going to keep maintaining this, making our way all the way around. Slip stitch into that chain one space, do a chain we're going to cut, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so we have just finished our first scallop row. We did do a chain up of one and cut, and now we're going to get started on our next row. We're going to start by inserting our hook in between two of the shells, wherever we want the thicker portion of our detail to be. So if you guys want to take a look at mine, this is my first shell that's along my neck portion, and this is my second. I've inserted my hook in between those two. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and we're going to start by doing a chain up of three. Now we're going to start off with the same types of rows that we did for the sleeve, but we are going to start and end with a decrease because we want it to eventually slant towards the back. So just to get that decrease started with each other, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, pull through. Next stitch, pull through, should have four loops on our hook, so yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two. And from here, we can now get started with the same rows that we did for the sleeve. So start with a chain one, skip one stitch, put one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So yarn over, we're gonna skip this one, put one double crochet into the next, and then also one double crochet into the next. Chain one, Yarn over, skip one stitch, double crochet into the next, and then double crochet into the next. We're going to keep repeating this, making our way all the way around until we reach the same set of shells, until we reach the same set of fans on the other side, leaving the last two so that we can decrease together. All right, we have made our way all the way to the other end of this row, and now we're going to close this off with a decrease. So as you guys can see, I ended on my two double crochets. So we're going to chain one, yarn over, skip one stitch, and then insert your hook into the stitch after that, pull through, in between the next two stitches, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two, and that is our decrease for this row. We are going to do a chain up of one and cut, and then we're going to reinsert our hook so we can get started on the next row. So getting started on our next row, we're going to start by inserting our hook into the double crochet that's closest to the next chain one space. And we're not counting that chain one space that we have that's right next to the decrease. So we're going to insert our hook into there. Insert your yarn onto your hook. Pull through. To a chain up of three. From here, we're going to put one double crochet into that next chain one space. And then start with our stitch sequence. So shell into every chain one space, making our way all the way around. When we reach this other side, into the second to last chain one space that we have, we're going to insert with a double crochet, do a chain up of one and cut, just like how we skipped this chain one space on this side. We're going to skip this last one right before our decrease. I'll meet you guys back when we have done our last double crochet. Right, so we have just made our way all the way around with our row of shells, and now we're going to do our shell double crochet row. And what we're going to do from here, since we did do a chain of one cut, we're going to skip over these two stitches that we have, which is our two double crochets that we close this row off with. Like I said in the previous clip, we didn't work into this last chain one space. We're going to start by inserting our hook into the middle of our first shell that we have. Insert our yarn onto our hook pull through to a chain up of three. And from here into that first space in between our two shells, we're going to do our first double crochet. And then from here, put your shell into the previous shell, double crochet, shell, double crochet. We're going to keep doing this all the way down. When we reach our last shell on this side, put one double crochet into there, do a chain up of one and cut, and then I'll meet you guys back. 
All right, so we have just made our way all the way around to the other side. I did do a chain up of one and cut, and I'm going to do just one more collar row just to show you guys how it's done. And then you guys can continue on if you guys want yours to be bigger. So since we all ended on a shell, we're gonna insert our hook into the middle of that shell, insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and do a chain up of three. We're gonna flip our work and we're going to do the next row in our sequence, which is putting a double crochet in between the shell and the double crochet from our previous row. So yarn over in between this shell and this double. I'm gonna put one double crochet, chain one, and then in between the double and this next shell, another double crochet, and then shell within here. And we're gonna double crochet, chain one, double crochet, shell. I'm gonna keep doing this all the way down to a chain up of one and cut, and I'll be done, so I'll meet you guys back. All right, so I'm back, and I now have a total of one, two, three, four, and five rows all finished for my collar and I am all done. I did do a chain up of one and cut. If you guys want to continue on, then go for it. But since I'm done, I'm just gonna weave in all of my ends. Our ends are woven in and our ruffle top is all finished. It's been a minute since we've done something whimsical and even longer for ruffles, so I'm really happy to share with you guys. And when you guys make this, don't forget to share with us on Instagram. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDTIY for discount off any $9.99 plus order. And enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling it's your favorite type of cookie. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, because believe it or not, it actually helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. All of those links are down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. And be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.